So today's going to be an energy read for this day for you. And if you like the video, I hope you do like it and I hope you have subscribed. And thank you very much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so this will be an energy read for you today. So clear your mind, uh, take a deep breath, let it out slow, think about what's important to you. And um, uh, you know what? I might work out a, a, a three-card oracle in this too. So yeah, I'll do a three-card or oracle too. Spur of the moment. How about that? It's just for you. So three-card oracle and then an energy read after that. Uh, it'll be a, a diet cross. Okay, here we go. Thanks. Okay, so I got these great cards. And if you ever doubted that I'm a sucker for a great packaging of cards, and this will confirm it. So these cards are by famed artist Salvador Dali. He includes himself in uh, the cards and his wife, and they also include uh, examples of some of his artwork and other uh, artists uh, that, that he felt were appropriate for the for the interpretation. Uh, these cards were created uh, or were um, commissioned in 1973 for the uh, film uh, Live and Let Die. However, uh, Dali's um, uh, price it was, I guess, too much. So contract uh, negotiations broke down. And then finally, 10 years later, by 1984, Dolly completed the tarot deck, 78 cards, and had them published for the first time, limited edition. And now Tostin has re um, uh, printed these cards in this amazing uh, box. So when I ordered them, I thought I'd get a box, you know, about this big. And when this thing came in the mail, I was totally shocked. They're not cheap. They're quite expensive. But anyway, so this is an amazing cover. This box is like a, a crushed velvet uh, kind of finish here. And it's just everything, everything, everything that gets me going about tarot card uh, containers, if you can't tell from my excitement. So, and then there's lots on the back here. It's in three different languages. It's in uh, Spanish, in German, and in English. And then the way this thing opens up, it's just like this. Once you get inside, you've got this amazing booklet uh, to describe uh, how, uh, something about the cards and how to use them. The booklet is a full color, and then each page has three interpretations of the cards. When I say interpretations, I mean that's English, uh, German, and Spanish. So, um, lovely, lovely book. Amazing. I mean, the price of the cards was, was the, the price that I paid for this was worth it if I only got this book. The one uh, problem I have with it, however, is that it's beautiful, but the first part of this uh, book is uh, a lot that talks about uh, Dali and how the cards came to be. And as you can see, it's on this dark purple with this gold printing, and I can barely, barely make it out. I'm going to have to use my magnifying glass eventually to read it, but uh, not today. And uh, so I've had these for a few days, and I've been uh, practicing with them. I haven't tried to decipher this yet. It's just too dark. I've got vision problems that make it just even more complicated. But when you finally get to where they're talking about the cards themselves, it's fantastic because you've got a white background, easy to read. It's a little small, but still it's easy to read because they've got everything on one page. And uh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I'm so glad I got this. It was on a whim. Now the cards, look at how they're displayed. The cards themselves come in this really cool gold foil kind of, it's a typical box for tarot cards, but just the design is terrific. And then the cards themselves, I'll take them out here, put the box back, and well, I'll keep this out. And then I'll put this away. But I'll show you the cards quickly um, before we go any further. And I guess I'll have to leave this here so we have something to, to, to look at. And then uh, here, when you get into the inner sanctum, there's no more uh, instructions inside here. It's just this cool uh, foiled uh, box. And then the cards themselves are terrific. The back is a really beautiful uh, foil looking design. It's not foil, but it's a gold design. And this just simply says Dolly over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. That's the back of the cards. The cards themselves are amazing. So 
like I say, they have included some of uh, uh, snippets of Dolly's work and some other artists. And if I was more studious, I would have really studied that and have something to tell you uh, more concrete. But um, they're just absolutely beautiful. On The Magician, you can see uh, Salvador Dali is the face of the magician. If I find it quickly, I'll show it to you. And on The uh, Empress, that's his wife, uh, Gala, but, uh, which I don't see right away. But um, they're terrific cards. I can't wait to use them. And so there's where we're at. You know, I, I make these uh, this mess of the cards like this uh, so that uh, you can get a chance to see different cards more completely than just the few uh, cards that a, a, a reader might pull up in, the, in a reading. And... Um, and enjoy that. And then, like I always say, if you're working with someone, I always think it's a good idea to have them spread the cards out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards. And then you know um, that they've got a, a stake in the, in the reading. So Salvador Dali, amazing, worth every penny I paid for these. So I was inspired by watching uh, Marianne, and uh, she had done uh, some oracle reading. And I thought, well, you know what? I'll do it too, and I'll use her oracle cards just like she did. And here they are. So we'll enjoy this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I kind of feel like you guys are just family, and uh, you know, you just come in and uh, have a seat, and uh, we'll uh, talk about whatever's going on and do a reading, and that's it. So here we go. These are Marianne from Revealing Act Tarot's uh, Oracle cards. I forget how many. I think there's 40 in here, and uh, they're very um, sensitive, as a matter of fact. So let me set these off to the side for a moment. Let's uh, pull three cards out of here for you today. One, two, and three. So clear your mind. Think about whatever it is that uh, you uh, would like to have some clarification on. Choose one of these cards. Remember, you can stop the tape if you need to. Take in a deep breath. Move it out slow. Maybe close your eyes. And start to choose one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three. Okay, so if you chose one, your oracle card for today is empathy. And man, we need a lot of empathy today. This is water power, and uh, I want to try to remember which uh, sign uh, this card is associated with, but uh, it's right here. But I don't know, I think that's Cancer. But I'm not 100% sure because I'm not up on my uh, astrological signs as I should be. The um, the uh, uh, chakra uh, color in here is uh, yellow for wisdom. So water and wisdom and empathy. When we allow our compassion to inspire us, all things are possible. Compassion, inspiration, possibilities. That's what this card is about today. So whatever's on your mind... Uh, try to put a layer of compassion over that. Uh, see if that doesn't inspire you uh, to uh, think more deeply about the issue. And whatever is the solution to that, you have to realize that all things are possible when you put compassion in there. Okay? So that's the, um, the first card. If you chose number two, this card is pause. And, uh, you know, this is relevant to, to that as well. This is also water power. And uh, this color for the chakra is the heart chakra so this is uh goes right along uh with empathy as about as a matter of fact so it's a nice card to follow uh this card and uh this card tells us uh with this pause okay it's kind of like stop and smell the roses look at the water lilies and uh, take the time to find stillness within the answer you seek wait i'm sorry i messed that up completely let me talk to it again take the time to find stillness within there we go stillness within and that's what i could use right now as a matter of fact because i'm a little keyed up so take the time to find stillness within and then the answer you seek will arise that's so true when you take a pause and clear all the clutter out of your mind like i'm actually trying to do right now then the answer you seek uh, will arise and so pause is always always um, a good prescription so that was number two for one was empathy and two is pause if you chose number three then from Marianne's uh, Revealing Light Tarot. This is illumination. I love illumination. Now, this is the crown uh, chakra, spirituality, higher consciousness. Wow, the cards just follow each other. And um, heaven is both within and outside of us. Notice the signs. And synchronicity is something that's so important in my life. I see little synchronistic signs all the time. And that's kind of what led me to kind of do this work. So illumination. Uh, heaven is both within and outside of us. Heaven is both within and outside of us. Notice 
the sign. Just take a breath, like I said here, and stop and smell the roses. So those are the three inspirational cards for today. Empathy, pause, and illumination. I'm going to try to leave them somewhat uh, up here uh, while I do this uh, cross. Just because they're such nice cards. And then uh, we'll take uh, the deck and start in on our energy read for today. And I like to think of these reads as kind of like looking out the window to see kind of what the weather's like and what you might put on today. Kind of what sort of attitude can you put on today? What sort of, how can you prepare yourself for this day and think about uh, what you need uh, to get through this? Maybe you have some something pressing. Maybe you don't have something pressing and you never know. Something can happen later on that becomes important. Or maybe this has been a, a challenging time for you. And uh, in that case, empathy, pause, and illumination would all apply for you. So I'm going to see what the energy is for you today with a dyadic cross. We'll take six cards. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Scoop these up. And we're done with these. So I'm going to put them out of frame. Make these nice and see what we get as the signifier for you today. Energy read for you today. Okay, the sun. That's fantastic. You know, the sun is illuminating. It kind of uh, uh, makes us the, uh, puts us in the spotlight. It brings all the answers out and makes things very clear. And so El Sol, the sun, is the significant fire card for today. So uh, clarity, illumination. Okay. Um, the um, challenge to that for you today is the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords is always making a choice. You know, and I always like to say that swords are me are truth and justice. So making a choice, deciding which way that you're going to go. And either way, either choice that you make is valid, but it just determines how the road uh, ahead is for you. So before you make that choice, you may want to take a pause uh, and, and contemplate uh, what, uh, what uh, needs to be eliminated. Uh, the base of this reading, then, is the magician. Magician tells us that we have all the tools on the table in front of us to, to work through our issue. We always have had it. Sometimes it, it escapes us, and we think we don't have what we need to get something done. But guess what, guys? You do. You have everything that's possible. If there's something that you think you need that's not available to you, you don't need it. You can do this without that. So there we go, the magician. The past of this reading, this energy reading for you today, is the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of swords. So seven of swords speaks to us of having felt as if we've been betrayed, as if someone has stolen something from us. Or it could be that you're the one who is, has, uh, is, is, is doing the stealing, inadvertently or advertently. So, uh, so uh, that's what's in the past of this. The sun has been shown on the issue. Now we have to make a choice, and we have the tools that we need to do that. The sky of this reading, let me stick, put this pause right over to the side here. The sky of this reading, then, is the Knight of Cups, and the, the you know cups are compassion and emotion, and I love the depictions in these cards. And it just tells us that as a knight, you are the person of action for this compassion, and it's a huge cup compared to the size of the knight and the uh, steed here. So yeah, you have all everything you need to make this compassion work. Yes, you do, and don't think that you don't because you do. In the uh, the likely outcome for you for this day, then is the world. So, And what the world is for us is the end of a cycle. There's always something new going to start afterwards, but this is the last of the major arcana, and that's the world card. And so to go over this again for you, uh, just know that this whole thing will come to an end. Okay? So, uh, and it, it's so funny that this energy read works so well with the um, oracle cards I pull. So the signifier of this is the, soul, is the sun, illumination. We know we have to make a choice, and whenever you're going to make a choice, you need to pause and just take a breath and understand what it is that you're dealing with. You have all the tools that are available to you, and maybe empathy is going to be key in that tool bag. Um, we came into this feeling uh, as if we, uh, we'd been stolen from, or perhaps maybe we uh, did something that we shouldn't have done, uh, which took some sort of dignity or some sort of peace or some sort of clarity uh, from someone else. Um, in the sky of this, you have to know that you are the Knight of Cups. You're the warrior in this issue of compassion, of emotion, of feelings. Okay? Believe that. And then the likely outcome will be that you will finish this, this cycle. This will be complete, uh, as complete as it ever could be, and then something new is going to start up after that. So that's just our quick energy read for the day. 
Hope you like this card. So the first Oracle card was Empathy. Okay, make sure that we have a good dose of that. And if you need empathy, ask for it. Okay, uh, there's a saying that I like, uh, God can't hear you if you don't ask. So empathy is important. All right, you always find empathy here, by the way. Um, the uh, number two card was pause. Take a breath, take a beat, and understand what you're dealing with. Take a pause. You know, nothing is so important that you can't just stop, even sit down, stop in your tracks. If you have to sit on the street, on the sidewalk, uh, in the middle of your house, stop. Sit down, cross your legs, take a deep breath, and have a pause. Okay, everything will be clear afterwards. And then the third card was illumination, and it just works perfectly with the other two. Once you've, once you've recognized empathy, once you've taken a pause, the illumination that you need is going to be obvious. And then that leads us right into the reading, which was, uh, the signifier was, in fact, the sun. So everything illuminated, everything shown up, and uh, the challenge to that were the choices that have to be made. Truth and justice is what I like to say those are. Maybe it could be rules, could be health, but, you know, there's a choice to be made there. Take a pause, use some empathy, use the illumination. And what's reassuring to you is that you have everything you need to do what has to be done. It's available to you. You might have to ask for it. You may have to seek it even. You know, have you ever looked for a darn pair of scissors and they weren't really, you left them, but you really needed them, so you went looking for them? Okay, that's that's what this uh, these tools are here. Find the tools that you need. In the past of this was the Seven of Swords, which is feeling, you know, a little betrayed, a little, a little uh, taken from. And uh, hopefully you haven't caused that. And if you have, own up to it. Could, because in the sky of this reading was the Knight of Cups. And it's a great big cup of compassion that this warrior knight is going to make sure gets delivered. And then the total outcome of the whole thing is the world. So it's a completion of a cycle. Something new is about to begin. But you have the satisfaction knowing that this was done as well as you could do it right now. doesn't mean it was done perfectly or on time or in the best fashion possible. It's as well as you could do it. Understand that. Okay? So I love that you guys watch my channel. Thank you so much. I hope you got something from that. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.